Hello, algebra students. Mr. Lawrence here, and we're going to do another day of writing functions. And this one's going to be a little bit different, but let's get right down to it. I've got my pattern. It's going 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. And that's the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. And those are my inputs, my x's, and my f of x's. My outputs are there. And I'm looking for the nth term. So let's go looking for differences. Looks like it's going plus 2, plus 4, plus 8. Plus 16, ha, 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 hey, wait a minute. If I go to the second difference, first no match, I go to the second difference, and it goes plus 2, plus 4, plus 8. Huh. It's like repeating. You notice that? If I keep going down, it's just going to keep getting plus 2, plus 4, and then plus 2. If I give you enough information, like 6 term, 7 term, 8 term, this 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 pattern will go forever and ever. So this isn't the right way to do this one. But I did notice something else. There's another way to change 2 to 4, and that's to multiply it by 2. And 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. When the differences are mul being multiplied by a number, by a constant, <clears throat> this is an exponential function. It's exponential. Remember exponential functions from back in the first semester? And it's going to be a base to some power x. Yeah, it's going to be a base. b is for base. So this is all times 2. These are all going to be powers of 2, 2 to the power n. And so I'll do my comparison line here. And let's see, I get 1 and 4 and 8 and 16 and 32. And look at these. These match perfectly. Oh, no, they don't. What did I write down? That should have been a 2 there. Sorry about that. All right, they do match perfectly. See, I don't have to do anything to them. So my nth term is 2 to the power n, and my function is f of x equals 2 to the power x. It's an exponential function. Yeah, when the differences or even the original numbers are being multiplied by the same amount every time, like a constant ratio, uh, it's exponential. So let's try another one. Here, I got my table. I got to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Looking for n. These are my x numbers or my input. My output numbers are the ones given to me. 2, 8, 26, 63, and 124. Oops. 124. All right, let's go find the first differences. And I'm going to go, well, that's plus 6. And that's plus 18. And that is plus, let's see, 66 would get 40, 37? No, there's a mistake in here. Yeah, there's a mistake. Hold on, let me check it. Yep, there it is. It's a mistake. These last couple are wrong. Sorry about that. Let me fix them real quick. This is supposed to be 80, and this is supposed to be 242. All right, so let me change those, 80 and 242. And so now the difference here is uh, 54. Oh, I like that. Good. And the difference here, I believe, is going to be ending at 2, uh, 162, I think. Yeah, that should be right. And what I notice is, is that 6 times 3 is 18. 18 times 3 is 54, and 54 times 3 is 162. This is exponential. It's an exponential function because the common ratio, 3. So I'm going to take that common ratio, and I'm going to raise it to the power n. I'll do my comparison line. So down here, I'm doing 3 to the first, 3 to the second, 3 to the third, 3 to the fourth, and 3 to the fifth. And this will be 3, and this will be 9, and then 27, 81, and 243. And it looks like in each case, I'm going to take away 1. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So I'll have 3 to the power of n minus 1. My function, f of x, equals 3 to the power x minus 1. There we go. All right, two more examples here. Let's see, I've got my x numbers, one, two, three, four, 
five and number f of x, 6, 27, 128, 629. I think these are right. Okay, I was just checking them really quick. 3,130. And so I go find my first differences. Looks like that's uh, uh, 21. And that is going to be a 101. Right? And that is going to be a uh, 629. That's going to be a 5. A 501. Interesting. Okay, and that one is going to be 3130. 629. Wow, we're going to get an 01. They all end in that one. And then. Uh, 25, 2501. That is very interesting. 2501. I don't see, I, I almost see something, but I don't actually see anything. So I'm going to find this, and that's going to be what? 80, right? And that's going to be 400, and that's going to be 2000. Oh, now I see it because if I multiply by 5, like 80 times 5 is 400. 100 times 5 is 2,000. Uh, it doesn't matter that it showed up after the second differences. Uh, it's still exponential. And so I'm going to take uh, 5 to the power of n, 5 to the power of n, and I'll do my comparison line. And so 5, 25, uh, 125, 625, and 5 to the fifth, 3,125. I'm going to erase this stuff up here only because I want to be able to see what I have to do to them, my comparison line. So how do I turn 5 into 6? Well, I add 1, and then I add 2, and then I add 3. Oh, what am I going to do on the nth one? I'm going to add n. So it's going to be 5 to the power n plus n. And so my function will be f of x equals 5 to the power x plus x. Pretty cool. When the differences are being multiplied, it is an exponential function. It's going to be whatever that multiple is to a power. The multiple is going to be of a base, and the power is going to be a variable. All right, last example here. We'll get some practice with this in class and tomorrow. So negative 8, negative 6, negative 2, 6 and 22. I go to find the first differences. I'm going to add 2, then I'm going to add 4, then I'm going to add 8, and then we're going to add 16. Looks like they're all being doubled. Times 2, times 2, times 2, and so it'll be 2 to the power of n. The variable is the exponent in an exponential function. All right, so 2 to the first is 2, 2 to the second is 4, 2 to the third is 8, 2 to the fourth is 16, and 2 to the 5th is 32. So how do I turn these green ones into the black ones? Well, there, 32 to 22, I have to take away 10. 16 to 6, I have to take away 10. 8 minus 10, you got it. Negative 2, it's take away 10. So it's 2 to the power n minus 10. Your function, exponential function, f of x, is going to equal 2 to the power x minus 10. All right. That's it for today. Mr. Lawrence signing off. Have a good night, everybody.